All right, we've got a big video out today from Tom McDonald titled You Missed after all of the recent happenings here in the United States and the attempted assassination on former President Trump. Within hours, Tom McDonald puts out a song and I just couldn't help but at least listen to this and see what in the world he's got to say it is tragic. It is horrible, everything that's happened in our country. I haven't even shaved today. I'm just literally relaxing on a Sunday. This song comes out. I can't miss it. There's got to be mental health somewhere in this. Without further ado, uh, the just Tom in the raw here. That just didn't sound right, did it? Tom Stevens, your psychotherapist. Tom McDonald, your rap genius. You missed. The events that took place yesterday are a horrifying example of political extremism in America. And I believe that, 100% believe that. We have got to get away from two sides that hate each other personally to the point where we want to take someone out. There should never be any okayness with trying to eliminate someone. That's called insanity. And it's nothing that it has no part in anything having to do with life, much less politics. This has just gotten too extreme, and we have villainized people to the point where we need to start acting properly. Mm, so that's it. You know, shots were fired at Donald Trump hitting his ear, and he said they missed. So that's what it's about. You missed. They burning the country down with their progressiveness. It started with changing what gender is. Then graduated to your racist if you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they mm. want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election. They got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I used to Woo! think that the world was misguided, but now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Thought y'all were tolerant, thought we were equals. Aside from any other words, which we can get into, the beat's crazy. That is really good. I like the beat that he put out in this one, especially the buildup all of a sudden and the, the, the peak point there. They just tried killing the president and then boom. I mean, Tom McDonald can be divisive. I, I don't need to talk to people about whether or not he's divisive because people who really agree with everything he says thinks he's not at all. And people who don't agree with what he says say he's totally divisive. I mean, it doesn't matter. The wording here is splitting two sides apart. My bottom line is, can we please stop pointing the finger at other people to say what trash they are? Can we just do that? Is that possible? The liberal side, the conservative side, the Biden lovers, the Trump lovers, can we just find a way to talk about what we want to do for the country, what we hope for the future of America, what we want humans and citizens to experience in our country instead of how horrible the other person is. It's just gone too far. And for me, I mean, it's music and that's what rap does, right? But, you know, when he starts with they, <laughs> their progressiveness, changing what gender is, the skin color, they don't want peace, they want skeletons, they want men to pretend they're feminine. It just literally points the finger that this is all this side is. And that's not all this side is, but it's what the extreme side is. And I think that's what he's saying. The extremeness of this, it's gone too far. That if you're not all of these things, then you aren't, a, you aren't normal. You aren't okay. That something's wrong with you. And you, it's just... We got to find a way back to the middle, y'all. We got too quick or we're going to implode ourselves. It's how civil wars happen, man. By killing the president. I used to think that the woke were misguided, but now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Mm, thought y'all were yeah. tolerant. Thought we were equals. I thought you valued how everyone feels. Then why are y'all celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa? Thank this is, to me, the bottom line truth in this whole thing. If you preach how horrible it is to hurt other people. And then you want, I've seen video clips of people s upset because the shooter missed killing former President Trump. It's a, that is craziness. And 
if you are celebrating the fact that somebody tried to take him out and you are preaching that people shouldn't attack and hurt other people, you're cheering on the very thing that you claim to hate. But when there's hatred inside you and you want to end someone's life, that's just an extreme level. That's insanity. You're not normal if you think that. There's no normal in you with that. If you've got that much anger, that much rage, where you want someone to die, there is an issue that we need to talk about. And the bottom line also on the back end of this is that someone did die. Someone in the audience did die. They came there just to hear him speak. And two people seriously injured. That is a problem because this is real now. It is real. We can't just sit here and act like we're playing games. This is real. Know who got shot? Innocent people. Thought y'all were tolerant. Thought we were equals. I thought you valued how everyone feels. Then why are y'all celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa? Mm. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom ain't afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed. Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane, bitch, you missed. Oh, man, this is, this is intense. <sighs> Putting the left against the right, which I don't like. I mean, there's different viewpoints. I have friends that had totally different views of mine that are great friends of mine. And it's okay. You can still love people for people instead of label, labeling them completely. Uh, freedom ain't afraid, afraid of violence. And that's true. Freedom is not afraid of violence. To keep a land of freedom, you have to allow people to speak their mind and also be ready for whatever attack is coming your way. And I think that's part of uh, this whole story is, you know, people don't want their freedoms taken away. People don't want to live in a world where you're only okay if you agree with one side. And that's where we've gotten. Hmm. Why can't we just shoot straight? That's what I want to know. Why can't we just shoot straight? Why can't we just be honest with each other, disagree with each other, appreciate aid each other at the end of the day, and move on? And I think he's putting this, man, this is a real reactive song, which is kind of cool because it's raw, right? It's right out of, this isn't something he's been preparing for months. This is something that just came out. It is insane. I've said it. It's insane. It's insanity. Dying bitch, you missed. No one else you can blame. Try to lock him up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you miss. Told us trust the science, but it never made sense to me. Why? I will say that too, that, you know, there's been a lot of, it does fascinate me how one side can really think that a person like Donald Trump, who's been president already, and the world didn't end, that he didn't become a dictator, that everything didn't fall apart. In fact, my life is better and better. I'm a private business owner, so I see a real clear difference in my world depending on how administrations run. Everything didn't fall apart. He gets painted this, gets vilified, gets um, charged, gets canceled, gets convicted, gets shot at. What is so threatening about him? He's already been president. You already know what's coming. It may not be the, the views you want and the the things that happen that you want, but the world's not going to end. Life goes on. I live my life every single day. What is it that's so scary about him that you have to try to take him out? I believe in God. So I believe God is the one who's going to work everything out anyway. And I believe he worked something out yesterday, to be honest with you. I believe he had a hand in making sure this guy is not going to be taken out. That's just my own personal beliefs. I don't hate anybody who doesn't believe that. I appreciate and love everybody that I talk to and run into every day. And so I want us to find a way to not just agree with one side or to say, no, we're not going to talk about it, but to be able to talk about things and know that yeah, hurting each other is not going to do us any good. It's not going to get us where we want to go. Hey, bitch, you missed. Told us trust the science, but it never made sense to me. Why would we put all our trust in the enemy? Millions of people are hooked on amphetamines. They're making billions on untested remedies. Borders are open to people with felonies. Yeah. Biden can't stop him. He don't have the energy. Y'all mm. want to kill the man trying to fight for a better tomorrow by making him Kennedy? I tried to give y'all a chance. Like, maybe the left isn't nuts. I was wrong. Because y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person I know said you were all along. Want to protest? Go hard. 
when the burn flags go off. But y'all are so triggered that you're pulling triggers at presidents. Y'all the terrorists when you're armed. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. And I do think what he's doing is pointing the finger at the extremeness, at the extreme people who say, yes, we want to take him out. I think he's pointing the finger that way. Do whatever you want to do. But you're so triggered that you're pulling triggers. And when it gets to that point, there's no normalcy for me. Pointing, uh, pulling triggers at presidents. Uh, Y'all the terrorists when you're armed. You're the ones trying to take them out. Got some conversation to be had here because this changes the game. And if we don't learn from this lesson and straighten up and do what we're supposed to do, which means fight for your side, go ahead, but don't take other people out for it. When, he, when Trump says fight, it means don't let people take your rights, your freedoms, and your ability to stand for what you believe away from you. He is not giving up. And that doesn't mean if in our country, it's one of three people. It could be Kennedy. It could be Trump. It could be Biden. It doesn't matter to me. Choose who you want to choose. I just don't want anybody to think, well, let's eliminate these other people so that only our person stands. And that way we get everything we want. I just think that's completely wrong. Presidents, y'all the terrorists when you're armed. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom ain't afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed. Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane. Bitch, you missed. There's no one else you can blame. Try to lock him up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed. Tom McDonald, you missed. Whoa, that will stir things up, especially in light of everything that's happened just yesterday here in the United States of America with the attempted assassination of a former president, which can't, we can't stand for that. I remember watching this happen to Ronald Reagan, and I just don't, um, it just should never take place. We need to do whatever we can to stop it. Because mental health matters, y'all. Sit in real therapy, it's just Tom breaking down lyrics. Get help if you need it. Please get help. Leave comments, but above all, mental health matters. And if we're at the point where we're wanting to take somebody out, your mental health is affected and you need a lot of help. And most of the time, this doesn't happen overnight. It happens over a long period of time. So please remember that. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.